in danger. The tribal man's shiv is an unlockable melee weapon for the sniper class, and it is both as shit as it looks and how it performs. The weapon is one of the simpler options with only two changes. The first and main change that players will immediately notice with this weapon is the minus 50% damage penalty, which causes each swing to be dropped from 65 to a measly 33. This makes the weapon extremely weak for direct one-on-one -on -one combat, especially against beefier classes like heavy, where the damage penalty will allow him to tank so many fucking swings that he could literally ignore you and your pathetic existence. This also turns your critical hit swings from mighty 195s into pathetic 98s which will make the initial swing not even enough to kill a fucking scout on its own. This makes the weapon not ideal for direct constant use in combat due to this intense damage penalty. It is mainly useful in quickly whipping it out, slapping them with it once, and then backing up to either use your secondary or sniper. This is a especially apparent when we take a look at the weapon's main upside, being of a damage over time bleed effect. Simply put, when you strike an enemy with this rusty piece of shit, they will start bleeding for 6 seconds, taking 4 damage every half a second whilst they bleed. This bleed effect over time makes every swing deal up to a potential of 81 damage from one singular swing, 33 from the initial hit, and 48 from the bleeding, which again, supports a more whip it out for a quick swing sort of play style. Since whilst they are actively bleeding, you can shoot them with either your SMG or sniper, the bleed effect cannot be buffed when granted full crits. But it can be buffed through mini crits, increasing the bleed damage per tick from 4 to 5. This does mean that in the most optimal circumstances, getting a random crit on an enemy covered in magical piss will deal a maximum of 158 from both the swing and the bleed effect. Now one would look at this number and think that this would surely be enough to kill a medic, a class with only 150 health. Right? Wrong. Because of the medic's passive health regeneration, he is able to just squeeze on by due to his special health regeneration mechanic. So unless that German body sniffing twinkle toad twat is running the Vita saw, you're most certainly going to need to hit him with something else. Otherwise he can just escape on fuck all health and steamroll your team by pocketing the enemy demo man. But it's important to not be careless and just swing continuously at the enemy since each swing will just reset the bleeding duration and not add to it so you will miss out on extra damage by just rapidly swinging this weak as fuck blade. One thing to note with this rusty shit stain is that the bleed effect does make it easier to track spies if you do hit them, since each bleed tick interval will make them flicker, although you will have to be quick about it, given that the spies cloak does half the duration of all negative status effects. So to summarize, the Tribomind Shiv is a shitty weapon that unless you feel like either annoying people or are just sick to death of spies, you should never really use, especially given that options such as the Shahansha and the Bushwhacker exists. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.